Hi fellows and welcome back to my channel and my videos of course or if you are seeing them for the first time just hi <laughs> my name is Anderson I'm repairing the power tools and trying to make the good videos about that uh, yep yeah, now on my table it's a Makita PDF 456 it's a really common model in a in a home in a construction site workshop and so on so on, so on. it's really popular and for this one the problem is that it's working but the check it's all wobbling of course it's an old tool it's uh, four years old and that's a wear and tear and yeah sometimes that happens but of course you cannot use a tool if the check is wobbling like this yep first of all what i will try to do i will try to remove the check Because I want to check the gear I see. Yeah, it's not so easy as I thought. For that it will be needed uh, the space and the wise. Uh, yeah. uh, what I will do now, I will disassemble the drill because I will still need to do that. And then I will remove the, the check in an easy way. Yeah, just checking it and see that we need a new carbon brushes because you can see they are really, really down normally they are almost on the top here so we need a new carbon brushes for this one Yep. The second thing, what we will check is the armature and it's burned out. You can see that it's, it's all black here, so normal copper copper color. This is the burned out. That means we need a new armature about the field. We will check it. Just putting the screwdriver in and checking the tension of the magnet. Now it's good. But of course, we need an armature. Okay, we'll write it down. Uh, yep. And now just getting to the gear I see. I'm honestly I'm making this video because of the gear as fall, the wobbling check and yeah, it's a common problem it's normally you need to change all the check for this problem okay I will do that faster uh, yep what do we have now we have the four screws here I will unscrew them taking the pin <laughs> the, the balls inside we will check how to fix it and we can see the ball bearing inside okay I will try to remove the spring ring it's a ring here I'm just removing it Now I will try to knock out the IC with all the check and in this way I will, I will be not needed to remove the check. Yeah, I will take a little bit bigger puncher. This one will be good as a puncher. And what can we see here? We have the small balls from the ball bearing. I'll try to zoom it. 
Small balls from the ball bearing. The chuck was made in the Germany. Yeah, Makita was using the checks made in the Germany some time ago. Uh, yep, yeah, I will take another paper. This one is going to the side. Yep, yeah, now just cleaning the parts from it. It's a, we have the damaged ball bearing. Removing this one. Removing this one. Spring. The, we don't need you. And yep. Uh, what we have now? We have the ball bearing here and ball bearing here. Ball bearing here is all damaged. And we need to try to remove it. I will punch the, the ball bearing. Yep. It's out now. We can know what ball bearing it is. And it is 6800Z. And this ball bearing is really nice. It's moving nice and it's good. Of course, all the load is going to the front bearing. Uh, what most important for us is the ball bearing housing, the casing, this plastic casing. Because if it's damaged, we are done. Because we cannot do anything with it. Just remove the parts of the ball bearing and now we need to try to remove the left part of the ball bearing. Just pushing it out. Of course, not hurting your finger. Yep. I'm just testing if they are same size. Yep, they are same size. And of course, the ring is left here. Uh, you can remove it with a tool like this, or you can try to remove it with a screwdriver, with two screwdrivers. But I think it will be really hard doing that. Yep. I will try to remove it with this tool. Honestly, I myself prepare a little bit different tool for this one, but still, I will try to use this. Okay, honestly, I don't like this tool. I have this one and I know that this one is really works. It's pretty simple, not expensive. If you'll not if you will not buy the professional manufacturer tool. Yep. What we need to do now we need to punch or press out the ball bearing from the AC and you can punch it with a hammer of course do that gentle. Yep and we have the ring out so we have the two parts from the old ball bearing we can measure that it's the same ball bearing as it goes on the bottom here the rings yep and what's now now we'll check I think I have double bearing this it yep I have it I think it's not new but it still be good for this video okay this part is going to recycle bin yep 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 and what can we do now now we can clean this ball bearing housing from the grease from the oil you can put the ball bearing inside yep and this will go in i believe yep uh, what's next what's next put this ball bearing of course yep. sorry if you've not seen that <laughs> forgot about the camera just inserted the ball bearing here and now inserting the second one here just pushing them with my fingers of course you can use the 
long socket and hammer them gentle. Yep. And what can we do now? Now we can put back this part here. We can put this one back. This one goes back. Just getting it until it fit. Just spinning it around. Okay, it fit. Now we can hammer the rest. Of course, the ball bearing going down will fall out. Okay, it not fall out. That's good. Now we can use the socket. This one is too big. This one, sorry. Yep, now need a little bit bigger, it's 80 millimeters. I think we will need to use the 10 millimeters or 30. It's a, it's a 12 millimeters. And it's just perfect for this one. Yep, just getting the ring back. sure that the ring is holding the ice here, yep. And now the funniest part of this idea to repair this tool is to get all the parts back again. Here, yep. Why not? Uh, yep, first of all we have the balls, many balls, many many many. It goes two balls in a one hole <laughs> it's it sounds a little bit strange but yeah it's the way it goes okay, getting the balls in Now goes the blade here. Yep, now we can put the this one here. Of course we can put it later, it, it will be not a big difference. Just getting the spins here. Zoom it a little bit. You can see the pins here. Now goes the the strange part. Yep, uh, we can check if you cannot spin the check easily. It's good. Uh, that is because uh, these two pins are preventing the check from the moving around when you are tightening because uh, fast tight it check and. Yep, this one goes here, the gears, and the gears, and the gears, and the gears again, now it's time for this one, yep, now we can close the Housing here, of course, tight it really, really carefully because it's soft plastic. Normally, I'm doing that on the first uh, clutch mode. When it's tight on the first one, you can set it to the second one. Of course, the best way to do that is to Check it with your hand, yeah it's good, it's good, good, and strange but it's good. Yeah. 
just cleaning it a little bit. Yep, now we can put them put the gears in here. And it's a five gears on it. Yep, it's good. Sorry, sometimes I'm forgetting about the camera and um, yeah, and just maybe the video not got so well. Yep. Okay, spinning this to hold it. Now I'll make it a little bit better. View. Yep, and now you can see the it's a pin here and a gap here. The gap must be here on the speed level. And inserting it, checking it's almost not moving. Yep, now I need a new armature. Okay, or maybe I will I will put it together like that and okay, we'll change the armature later. Yeah, because this video is made not for the armature change, I made it for the check repair, for the for the gearas repair. And you can easily save the money with this repair because the new gearas here cost about thirty or forty euros, I think. So it's a uh, real money. Saver. The field not going in a place. Uh, Go it in the place. Just closing the cover and we will check the cap movement. I will not turn on the tool because the armature is burned out and you can see that the check it's, is even not moving, it's very good and yep yeah, okay I want to test the tool but the armature is done. I will try to run it. Now, now it's, it's done. Yeah, but um, you can see that it's the only normal move on the check. It's not as much as it was because it was a really, really big, big move. And now you can use that drill like this. Yeah, so that was a easy repair of the Makita Cordes do gear um, and uh, most most of the gear axes of the normal manufacturers, professional manufacturers, uh, have the ball bearings inside. Of course, sometimes it's uh, it's not a like ball bearing; it's only uh, balls, just many of balls and so on. But you can easily uh, replace it with a ball bearing. Uh, you just need to know the outer and inner outer inner and the high of the ball bearing and you can find a chart what bearing you need, ball bearing you need and of course you can order it in eBay, in local stores, somewhere else it's not a problem, really not a problem yeah, as you can see it's really easy to repair it to fix this problem and now it will run for a long time and we saving the money okay, so thank you for watching uh, we will see you in the next video and for now, bye!